From November 2019 to March 2020, the McMaster Children's Hospital saw a total of 18 tobogganing related injuries. We're definitely on track to double the total from last year. Dr. April Cam says there were 15 injuries this past November and December. Abrasions, cuts and bruises, soft tissue injury to, to fractures, to fracture dislocations, to internal organ um, damage. Approximately half of the injuries were lower leg fractures and the other half were head injuries. However, the team at McMaster Children's Hospital Emergency Department have taken care of several children and teens with spleen, liver and kidney injuries. Some of these kids needed blood transfusion, surgeries and hospital admission. To avoid making a trip to an emergency department, the hospital suggests taking a few precautionary measures like choosing a slope that doesn't have any trees, fences or other obstacles at the bottom. They also suggest wearing a helmet and to avoid crowded slopes and lying down on sleds. In Ontario, we see around 1,000 emergency department visits for sledding and tobogganing each year. Stephanie Cowell works for Parachute, who educate on injury prevention. A hill that has a road at the bottom, that has water or ice at the bottom, or a fence are extremely dangerous and increased risk of injury. On February 2nd, four-year-old Adam Komar died while tobogganing in Lincoln after being hit by a pickup truck. We always want to make sure that when kids are playing in snow, they're staying away from roads. Um, this is a danger because cars coming along, drivers can't see the kids. The town of Lincoln has since put up fencing at the site of the accident. Niagara police are still investigating what happened, but detectives believe speed or alcohol is not a factor. Dr. April Cam with Hamilton Health Sciences says there's also been an increase in skating related injuries, although the severity of those isn't as bad. And that's due to COVID-19 restrictions because there's no physical contact, there's no body checking or high impact collisions on the ice. Back to you.